Hey everyone, I've been away on holiday the past couple of weeks, so what do we miss? Well, there's been a cost of living crisis all over the news, with many commentators saying that this winter people will have to choose between heating or eating. Although I guess on the upside that means we're either going to solve the obesity crisis or the pensions crisis. Next in the agenda is apparently a three-day week, and talk about it being like the 1970s again, which is frankly a lot of old cobblers, because at least there was decent music in the 70s, and Channel 5 hadn't been invented yet. There's also a water shortage, so it must be a very worrying time if you're an East End gangster who dumped a body in a reservoir. You know, I guess you could try to recover the body first, but then just to rub salt in the wood, a tank of petrol to visit the reservoir probably costs a pony these days, or a dragon, or however that system works. You know, it's always surprised me that Brussels never tried to enforce the metric system on Cockneys. You know, like twenty pounds was an Alsatian, or a hundred pounds was a poodle. Elsewhere in Europe, though, things are just as bad. Spain is apparently facing an ice cube shortage. Why though? Did they forget the recipe? There's also a series of rail strikes ongoing, although if you think things are bad in Britain, you should take a look at Ukraine and see the damage that a Russian strike does to trains. Uh, the Conservative leadership is still ongoing. I think the last time I read anything on it, Liz Truss was expected to win by a landslide, largely because Rishi Sunak's main campaign is to stop the inflation caused by Rishi Sunak and lower the taxes that were raised by Rishi Sunak. And talking about Conservative leaders, there's rumours that Boris Johnson might pay a surprise visit to the UK next week. What else? Salman Rushdie was stabbed at a speaking event in New York due to the satanic verses novel he wrote more than 34 years ago. Gee, talk about getting it in the neck. And I hear that Norway has apparently painted barcodes onto all its warships so that when they return to port they can Scandinavian. Yeah. Cineworld is preparing to go bankrupt, although to be fair I was thinking about doing the same thing after I recently bought two tickets and a large popcorn there. The producers of The Crown are apparently looking to cast the next series, and of course this is Netflix, and so producers are keen to see Prince William depicted by either Wesley Snipes, Idris Elba, or possibly Danny Glover. Swimmer Tom Daly said that homophobia in the third world is apparently a direct result of the British Empire, which is surprising, I never knew that the British owned places like Mauritania or Uzbekistan. You know, I'm pretty sure if he pays a trip to famously woke Saudi Arabia, they'll happily let him dive into a swimming pool there, albeit only an empty one. I once saw an Amnesty International advert with a black and white photograph of two criminals playing chess in Saudi Arabia you know, between two jail cells, although it failed to mention how the choice of games is quite limited. It's not like you can play rock, paper, scissors when all the shoplifters can only play rock. You know, it's a brutally rigged system that's somehow less fair than that premium rate voting system ITV tried a number of years ago. And finally, I saw an interview where apparently Lady Gaga claimed she wore a bulletproof vest when she sang at Joe Biden's inauguration. I'm guessing that was in case there were any music lovers in the audience. Anyway. See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.